hey guys welcome back to my channel so i am rocking these 36 inch zrq faux locks off amazon and they are beautiful honey check them out like look in the mirror behind me look how long they are these are so dope so stay tuned i'm gonna show you how to rock this Okay, so the way I did my style, because I don't like how crochets look, I use like maybe two packs of passion twist hair just to wrap the base. Um, here's the passion twist hair. The link will be in the description below. Um, it's fantastic. It All you need to do is fluff it out really, really good. And I like this hair because it fluffs out so easily. And here is the extremely long faux lock hair. It's extremely light. Like I washed this already because I guess I did it too tight and I just like to wash my hair and feel water on my scalp because I braid too tight, but it felt so good and it's light and it smelled good and it dried really quickly. So here I am, I am poofing out the passion twist hair. Look how easy this is y'all. You see how, look at this, it's just so easy. And I know if you poofed out passion twist hair before to try to do some locks or something, it took a long time because it gets tangled. This hair is perfect, it doesn't get tangled at all. And you only need like maybe 40 pieces because you might have 40 pieces of faux locks in your hair. I had a total of 46. Um, I did have like maybe like a half a pack left of the faux lock hair. They only come with three packs, but it's enough for a whole head because I definitely have a full head of hair and I only used two and a half packs. So I definitely had some left. Look how long this is, y'all. I love it. All right, y'all, here I am looking like Coolio with my individual plaits. I have like 46 going on here. You might have more or less depending on the texture and the, um, you know, the fullness of your hair. But it really only took me maybe an hour to do this many locks. It didn't take long. The hardest part is braiding your hair, trust me. Because this part probably took two hours, two or three hours just to individually braid my hair because I wanted my part straight. But here I am, you go ahead and grab your crochet hook that came with the locks. And the passion twist hair came with the crochet hook as well. So go ahead and grab your crochet hook loop it through the faux lock the part that has the circle on the end go ahead and hook it through don't release the faux lock just yet push it through and you're going to go ahead and grab the end part of the lock and you're just going to pull it through the hole that you just pulled through and you're just gonna you know release it so it locks in at the base of your braid like so Leave your real hair out because that's what you're going to use the passion twist hair for. I like this method better than trying to like pull my real hair through the braid. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's too much work. And this way looks more seamless. So here I'm going to put passion twist hair through the crochet hook. Go ahead and loop it on the bottom of the base of your individual plait, like the same place you just laid your faux lock. Grab your real hair along with the short side of the passion twist hair grab the lock and twist do not twist the hell out of your scalp because it hurts and that's where i messed up at so you don't have to do it tight because it's going to stay anyway it's already crocheted in you're just wrapping it just to basically hide your real hair and it looks very seamless so you don't have to do it super duper tight you can also use glue to seal the ends or not and here i am basically finished i have one braid left i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one more time so i'm gonna put my crochet hook through the base of my braid grab my faux lock pull it through the base don't release the faux lock yet go ahead and grab the end piece of the lock pull it through and release the crochet hook from the faux lock go ahead and pull that to the base of your scalp make sure you leave your braid out it's not like it's gonna go anywhere right <laughs> so leave your braid out and grab your passion twist hair poof out the passion twist hair you should already have done this make your life a little easier twist 
twist up a little bit of the passion twist hair so you can just fit it through the crochet hook with ease and you're going to go ahead and grab that crochet hook hit the base of the braid again and pull your passion twist hair through now here we go again make sure you put the short end of the passion twist hair in connection with your individual plait and your faux lock and you're just going to wrap I'm gonna use glue to seal this just to show you guys. Make sure you put the glue way past your hair, your natural hair, because nail glue will not come off, honey. It will not come out. Also, if you do plan on reusing these, I suggest not using any nail glue because these can be reusable. But go ahead and dab like one drop on the end of the passion twist hair on your lock and just rub it in and it stays forever. <laughs> because that's what nail glue does. And here is the finished product, y'all. I love it. Oh, it's so light and it's so long. You don't even have to like connect it. Look at it, like y'all, I did a good job. I'm loving it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and please hit subscribe since you made it this far and add me on IG at it's Miko Fool.